All right, so now um, I want to go back over the solids with a volume um, where we use some sort of a known cross section, and we'll we'll look at a couple of these. Um, we'll look at a couple examples here, and I want to start with uh, let's say that we have this curve f of x, um, and we'll look at uh, we'll look at the same curve uh, x squared plus one, and we'll say g of x is going to be uh, negative x squared minus 3. So we get this picture where we have these curves. This is like negative x squared plus 1. Here's negative x squared minus 3. And we're talking about them. Here's, zero, here's 2, here's 0. So I'm going to build off of this. Like maybe I'll start with uh, semicircles. And we'll have all of these kind of semicircular guys standing up off of the off of the base here to make this 3D uh, shape. So what I need to do is I need to take the area of one of those cross sections, which is a semicircle, so it's half of pi r squared. And I'm going to add all of those together using my definite integral. So I'm going to be adding together from 0 to 2 uh, those areas in the x direction. And so now I just have to come up with an expression for this radius here, which is going to be f minus g. So if the radius equals this distance, f minus g here, divided by 2. And putting it all together, I'll have the integral from 0 to 2 of pi times uh, r squared, so f minus g over 2 uh, dx. And Now I just have to substitute in my functions, evaluate this, and actually this is, so uh, pi r squared over 2, r squared over 2, but that's our definite integral that I'll, uh, I'll check out on the computer, okay? And again, the thing that's important here is that the, um, the geometry is, is arbitrary, so we could have also had, if I draw those curves again. I could have also made something like, um, you know, maybe I want a rectangle. Yeah, I'll, I'll find some rectangles here. Rectangles uh, where the one side is uh, three times the other. So then I'd have something like these rectangles all standing up off of this thing, and I'd have this, you know, where one side is three times as long as the other. But again, it comes down to understanding that this side here, or this piece, is determined by f minus g. And that's a side of our triangle, or that's a side of our rectangle. So if that's our side, then the other side is three times. We've got an area that is f minus g times three times f minus g, or the area equals three f minus g squared. And then we're just adding up from zero to two, three times f minus g squared ax. Okay, so it's really, um, I mean, insert whatever kind of geometry you want there, but that's the, uh, that's the big idea.